I'm Masa. I'm Dan. I'm Bison. I'm Bison BC. From Vancouver, BC. <laughs> now, Bison BC are a metal blade. You're a, an aggressive throwback rock slash punk type band. Yeah. How did you guys end up on a metal blade? We still don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It was just uh, we uh, we had a, a met this guy. He came came talk to us and ended up becoming our manager. And uh, he kind of asked us one day, like, give us give him a list of kind of labels that we'd be interested in working with. And one of them was Metal Blade. And he happened to know that somebody from Metal Blade was going to be in town when we were playing. She came and checked it out. That was Sarah, and uh, she liked it and sold it to the Metal Blade. And here we are. So. <laughs> Seems as though this whole throwback rock is becoming a real subgenre. Yeah. Oh yeah. Totally. I mean, of course, Relapse Records have been doing it for years, and yeah. now everyone's catching up. Right. The Mastodon is huge, and all this stuff. So it's becoming trendy to an extent. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you at all worried that once this trend dies, Bison will be dropped? Uh, honestly, no. I think. Well, I just, I just think that heavy music in general is just, um, it's just becoming greater and greater, and yeah. I don't, I don't really see it, you know, dropping off really too much. I think the fan base is growing, and um, yeah, it's more. It seems like more and more people are just getting into heavy music in general, and I think that's just going to keep going. And I don't, I don't think too that. Uh, we're the type of band that, like, we're not just a thrash band. We're not just a... I think that was John. <laughs> we're not just a thrash band. We're not just a stoner band. There's a lot going on, so I'm not worried about it at all. Made it! People, Made that, are, people that are fans of heavy music are going to always be fans of heavy music, just like us. So, yeah, everybody else can come and go. We don't care. <laughs> what are some of the things you've seen, trends, fashion styles, behaviors that... You find particularly music as of late. Oh, jeez. Well, I like I like now that uh, every every jock in the world has a mohawk. <laughs> That's something that I just still like. The guy working at the Gap has a mohawk. I can't wrap my head around that one. That blows my mind. That's just too much. There's always something funny, to, some funny trend that comes up that's easy to laugh at. Right now, it might be yellow jeans or something, yellow and red jeans. And big scarves and hairdos. But next week will be something else. How about the uh, flannel, plaid, beards? Oh, that's always <laughs> going to be cool. That's always going to be it. Always has. That was what our dads looked like when they were our age, and that's what we look like a lot of the time. Maybe not right now, but <laughs> earlier today. Even. But what are your plans for the tour? What do you want to accomplish in this tour? Just have a great time. Played to a bunch of awesome towns and see yeah. a lot of people. I mean, we got a lot of friends across Canada, obviously. So see a lot of our friends and make new friends. Yeah, I'll make new friends. You know, <clears throat> that, um, expose the music to maybe a bigger audience than we might normally play for. Hang out with Baroness and Genghis Tron. Yeah. yeah. How do you guys get down? How do you guys party? Every which way. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Smoking and drinking. <laughs> yeah. Laughing loudly and listening to tunes. Solid. Yeah. yeah. Any political stands? Not, uh, maybe personally, but not in terms of the band. We all, we all know the world's fucked and we just kind of want to, we're going we're gonna to address certain parts of that in the music and stuff, but we're not going to try to make any, any big political statements with our music. It's a lot more of a thing personal, even if it seems like it's we're talking about the destruction of the world and stuff. <laughs> we're not trying to offer any solutions or anything. <laughs> oh. What's so, your favorite conspiracy theory? Oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> so many. I don't know. Wow. I really like the 9-11 conspiracy theories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those, yeah, for sure. And the plane in the Pentagon and whether or not it was really there. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, what are your opinions on the JFK killing? I have no idea. <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea. I don't even know. It's just, I've heard so many different things. I think, obviously, there was, you know, it wasn't just some crackpot. But I don't know what, the, what was really going on there. To what extent is hardcore an influence in you guys? Oh, big influence, I'd say. Yeah, I mean, at least.
He's awesome. Not so much. Me, maybe. Fine, get out of here. I, like, old, like old school, like 80s hardcore punk had like, I think a huge influence on all of us. Just one of the craziest kinds of music that came out. Shit. Some of those, some of those, like '80s, even into the '90s, some of those hardcore bands are never going to be able to top in terms of just pure power and pure, just being. Uh, what's the word I'm trying to find? Just destructive, you know? Just really confrontational. For example, uh, Black Flag, Faith, Void, Minor Threat, uh, Born Against, Rorschach. Just like any of that kind of stuff. Just crazy. What's one of the best shows you've seen? Uh, actually, one of the last best shows that I saw was a Baroness show in Vancouver. Um, and uh, what else? Torch with Baron with uh, Boris and Lair the Minotaur. Iron Maiden. I don't know what you're I missed it. <laughs> I've seen a lot of big shows like <laughs> Judas Priest. Yeah, hey, you were going on the arena once. I know. And they still got it. That show, this this band, Mass Grave, uh, cross band from Vancouver, just amazing band. They played a backyard party with this band from Texas called ANS, and another Vancouver punk <laughs> band called Fear of Tomorrow. Um, Who else played that? Uh, I can't remember. I was keeping on the camera. Yeah, but that was an amazing show. Just a bunch of punks in a backyard. Having a good time. It's great. Do you think heavy music should stay underground? I mean, nobody really has control over that, I don't think, you know? I mean, if a band gets popular, they get popular for a reason. People love them. <laughs> and, um, I don't know. And then, I, you know, there's also the whole other side of music, which is the music business, which really has nothing to do with the music playing. Yeah. So, you know, more band will look into music business, more they will expose themselves to bigger audiences. Whereas, you know, some bands, if they don't really have that going on, then they'll probably just stay on the ground. And, which is awesome. Which is it's fine. That's so yeah. 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 That's, that's what they want. Or, you know, that's the way it goes. So, never know. <laughs> we certainly had no aspirations of... You know, ever signing to a label or anything like that. And it was just something that kind of came along. We kind of thought, like, well, they want to, like, see what happens. See what happens. But it wasn't like we are like, to start a band and, you know, get signed and deal. Don't. We couldn't care less. I mean, it's cool, but it wasn't. It wasn't a priority in the slightest. All right. Tell us a little bit of the scene back home. Bands that, are, that you really like. Cool things that are happening back home. Lots yeah. of good, lots of good things happening in Vancouver, I think. Um, a lot of different kinds of scenes don't necessarily mix together. It's kind of too bad, but yeah. Um, but yeah, it's pretty lively. There's some bands uh, who are like really impressing you guys. Oh gosh, Mass Grave, Mass Grave, Fear Tomorrow, Osk, Osk, Agatha, Taxes, Taxes. Jaws, yeah, so many sorcerers, <laughs> and it's like so many different kinds of music. White Lung, um, so so many bands, and then obviously you know Pride Tiger, Black Mountain, Lady Hawk, kind of the more well-known Vancouver bands. But, uh, Any last <laughs> words before you go? Do it. Uh, Shout out to people you want to support, people you want to give a little plug to. Uh, all those bands from Vancouver. Yeah. Yeah, plug all those. <laughs> just uh, get rad, stay rad. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's have a good time. Cool, man. Looking forward to this tour. Yeah, yeah it's going to be good. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to keep coming back in a couple months, hopefully. Keep an eye out. <laughs> yeah, see you again. Yeah. Thanks so much.